Hello everyone. Let's turn this around. Hello. So my name is Mahala McKellar. I am by all of you best known for being um, the mother of Danica McKellar and Crystal McKellar. They were both on the Wonder Years. Danica was Winnie Cooper and um, there's El Viejo. Hi. Oh, and thank you for inviting followers. Thank you, Adam, also for inviting followers. Um, so, um, yes, Danica was Winnie Cooper and Crystal was Becky Slater. Um, <laughs> I'm also, I keep bumping this cord, the power cord, and making everything bounce around. All right. Hello, Louisiana. Thank you, Miss J.D. Blue, for sharing. And uh, J.C. Dino. Is it Dino or Diano? Uh, and Miss J.D. Blue again for inviting followers. Hello, DeRay of Light. <laughs> Yeah, so I also am a meditation teacher. Um, thank you, Kevin. Um, I'm a meditation teacher. Finally watch your show on live. Who, who was that? Oh, hello. Hello there, Aya, in Japan. Um, and uh, we've known her for a very long time, Danica and I. Um, thank you, Joe Cummings and Array of Light for inviting followers. Um, <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, so let's see. Yes, I teach meditation. I'm certified by Dr. Deepak Chopra. And um, thank you, El Viejo and Finding Mimi. By the way, Dean Noli. Oh, Dean Noli. Okay, so Dean. Let's see if I can remember that, that your name is actually Dean. Uh, oh, you know, Kevin, I really enjoy sharing this kind of information. I, it has helped me in my life so much and the people I've taught and my daughters and, and other people I know, um, you know, other Chopra teachers, we all have our story about how we, how we started meditating and, um, and bringing different wellness practices into our lives. And, and, uh, you know, what else can we do? But, um, but share, share what, what works for us and, and hopefully it'll help other people. You know, we're all a little bit different. So, you know, you take the information and you make adjustments. Uh, thank you, Holly, for sharing. Um, by the way, um, you guys, if, um, hi, is it Steve? Oh boy, you know, my memory isn't really great. I should write, start writing these things down. <laughs> So I remember your names from your handles. Um, so I uh, just a reminder, I have this bottle. Let's see if I can bring it up here. It's, it's a plastic bottle. It's never been used. It was given to Danica a long time ago. Thank you, Grace, uh, for sharing. Grace Melinda. Um, and so when I reach a 1,000 followers, I'm going to give that to someone. And Danica has said that she will. Um, Steve, yes. Okay, I was thinking Steve, Steven. I was close. I was close. Uh, <laughs> um, so Danica said that she'll sign the bottle. And um, yes. Oh, good. Oh, you did the yoga with her. That's great. Thank you, Randy, for inviting followers. 822. I know. I know. Can you believe that? I mean, I just, you know, I just think it's wonderful. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right. I'll sign it too, but I won't, you know. Thank you, begin again, Jen. Thank you, Jennifer, for inviting followers. Oh, you like the cooking scopes too. By the way, do you guys, um, I've been retweeting the pictures that El Viejo sends me. Um, the following day after I do a cooking scope, he makes what I made, except he makes it look so much nicer. <laughs> and then the presentation is beautiful. I have a feeling he must have a beautiful kitchen or home. It just looks beautiful. Um, you haven't missed anything. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just chatting and welcoming people and thanking them. And, and, uh, so you haven't missed anything. Um, I was talking about that. I'm going to give this away. And I guess both Danica and I will sign it. Um, and I'm thinking that maybe, you know, she ought to sign something else too. Because if you actually use this and wash it, then her signature might, you know, wash off or go away after a while. Um, 
where are the pictures? The pictures of El Viejo stuff. I, I put them, I posted them on Twitter. Um, I posted two, two pictures of the four he has sent me. The pancakes that I made. I mean, his look so delicious the way they were stacked up, this beautiful background. He also sent me another picture, which I did not post, he, that made the, um, it looked like a little bunny rabbit from from behind and with a little tail. It was really cute. I, I'm thinking I want to do that for uh, Draco sometime. Thank you, Dean and Teresa, for for sharing. I would display it, not you. Oh, the oh, okay. Well, anyway, I just thought. All right. So, oh, thank you, A Mills, for inviting followers. Um, oh, thank you, Aya. <laughs> Love the chocolate factory trip too. Yeah, that was something in Hershey, Pennsylvania. I mean, we were staying at the Hershey Lodge, but it seemed like everywhere we went, people were giving us chocolate. I mean, giving everyone chocolate. <laughs> it was just, you know, <laughs> you check in at the lodge, they give you a big bag of candy. I mean, it was everywhere. It was just everywhere. So, oh yeah, yeah, that was, that was, I really, I enjoyed doing that. With Danica the, the little Oscar thing doing that on the commercial break um, so so I had not decided oh first I want to do the quick tip the quick tip and um, and it, it I was going to do this quick tip today anyway and then it turns out that it's totally in alignment with what I'm going to talk about and this quick tip comes from El Viejo how about that? <laughs> um, and that is to park farther away, take the stairs at work, shopping, school, to burn extra calories, um, and it adds up. Uh, Marissa, I haven't, I haven't gotten into the full-on talk yet. I've just been welcoming people, and I was just giving this quick tip from El Viejo, which is to park farther away, take the stairs when you go to work, shopping, at school, to burn extra calories. Now, it also gets your body to move, which is, to move more, which is so important. It is so important. We we do, um, <laughs> you see the little, <laughs> I guess you could run too, couldn't you, from your car to where you're going. Um, um, yeah, we, uh, so much of what we do is, 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 sitting most of us and um, to just create m more movement in in our for our bodies is just so so good for us um, so I actually hadn't decided what I was going to talk about and then I was I was actually about to do that Stairs, yes. Stairs instead of elevator. When, whenever it's, whenever you can. Um, uh, and then I saw Danica's scope. When her doing yoga, and and it really got me to thinking about some things that Deepak has been talking, Deepak Chopra, um, and that Deepak has been talking about lately. And that's the research that's being done on yoga currently. Um, I I took some notes. Well, Danica was doing yoga, and um, she was doing yoga from from our um, one of the uh, from our DVD. Um, she was doing the restorative one. The um, I forget exactly what it's called, but the one when you're not feeling so great to help to help um, restore your body. So. Um, Yes, Christy Marsden is the narrator. She's the one who put, I'm looking over here, I've got my bigger screen here, by the way. Um, um, Christy is a fabulous yoga teacher. She's, um, she used to have a yoga studio here in Burbank in the Los Angeles area. I don't know if she still has it because um, she and her husband and child moved to Nashville. She might be teaching there. I really should contact her and ask her. Um, I uh, um, Yes, she does have a soothing voice and she's just a wonderful person and a wonderful teacher. Really wonderful teacher of, of yoga, of what I consider real yoga, the real traditional yoga. Um, I think too often in the West, people are turning it into um, a workout, and yoga is not a workout. 
it's more of a nurturing of our body and um, and and a mindful uh, a mindful experience. So, but I'm starting to get it. <laughs> I have I have some issues with some of the yoga that goes on, which I don't do. So you know, and but it, if if it gets people moving, that that's still wonderful. Um, I just have a hard time actually calling it yoga. So. Um, let me see here. Where's my, um, yes, the National Institutes of Health um, recently have awarded several large grants to study yoga. Uh, and, and soothing voice, you know, people say that and I hear my voice and it doesn't sound that way to me, but that's okay. Thank you. Thank you. I should take the compliment. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so they're, they're studying this because, um, does anyone know what, has anyone heard of uh, the vagal tone? It's V-A-G-A-L, vagal tone in our body. I'll wait a moment for what I'm seeing to catch up. No, 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 no. Okay, well, there is something. There is a nerve called the, the vagus nerve. Now, that sounds like, hey, Las Vegas, but it's V-A-G-U-S, the vagus nerve. And actually, I printed out a picture so you can see where it is. You see that it didn't it I didn't copy or print very well, so that's why I went ahead and sort of you know made it a little more obvious. So so that puts it like right around in this area. It it's here and then it goes down throughout our body. And this nerve, the vagus nerve, it is um um, I have so much information here. I want to make sure I, yeah, the vagal tone is direct, directly related to the vagus nerve and, and how they, <laughs> All right. I, I... I'm sorry, Steve, that was funny. That was very funny, but <laughs> I don't know if everyone saw that, that <laughs> what he wrote. <laughs> All right, where, where, was, where was I? Yeah, so the the um, the um, what the vagal tone, if it's if it's strong, um, it you have more resilience, and and if it's weak, you you don't. You're more affected by stress, and they have found. Um, that the the tone goes throughout the entire body you know starting at the base of the skull and it touches the um the respiratory system digestive system and all the nervous system the entire nervous system so it actually re helps to regulate all of the major bodily functions all of them breathing heart rate digestion and this one i really find interesting and even how we take in process and make meaning of our experiences. Now that's powerful. That is really powerful. I mean, all the physical stuff. Yes, I mean, you know, but the 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 fact that it so affects the way we experience our lives. That's huge. That is really huge. Now, why am I talking about this nerve? Is because. Um, yoga stimulates that area yay and we can all do it you know we, you, you can you can and you don't have to be limber this is one of the comments I was making to people today who were watching Danica when they were saying oh I can't reach that far or um, um, I um, you know I could never do that I have to watch the replay oh is anyone else having an issue with the broadcast? I noticed Holly just joined and she had joined earlier, so. No, no, okay, no, 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 all right, okay, oh great, all right, okay, good. <laughs> Alrighty, so, um, da, da 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 I forgot what I was saying. I forgot what I was saying, totally. Oh, I know. I was saying we can all do yoga. Yes, you don't have to be flexible. That's really important to know. You don't have to be limber. 
if you do yoga regularly, you will become, over time, you will become more limber. I mean, Danica has been doing yoga for years and years and years. And, and um, you know, and it shows. <laughs> it really shows. When we did the, the, the DVD and we produced that, it was just the two of us who did that um, 10 years ago. And, um, well, the two of us and Christy, of course, um, that was 10 years ago. And already then she had been doing yoga for a long time. And so, you know, and add another 10 years to that. So, you know, when, when she's doing yoga, what you're seeing is ideally, yeah, yes, the, the, yeah, this is it. It's the only one that we have. <laughs> um, she's showing you ideally what the position is, but you do it at whatever level you are. So if she's here and she can go to here, if you can only go to there, that's fine. That is fine. Yes, yeah, it, yes, uh, Jen, it's, it, Jennifer, it's on Amazon. Um, that's fine, you just go as far as you can. And in that, you are accomplishing that, what she was talking about, the you know, massaging the internal organs and stimulating the nervous system, especially this nerve so um, you, you just do as much as you can now you know and you can go to yoga classes if you're the kind of person you need to get out and be with a bunch of people to get motivated to do that or you can get a DVD like ours um, you there's a lot of stuff on YouTube you can just you know you don't have to spend a lot of money <laughs> you know at all you just just um, give yourself that gift you know, the yoga and meditation, both of them are just such marvelous things. When is the best time to do yoga? Whenever you can. You know, whenever you have the time or whenever you can make the time. That's that's what I think. Now, if you really have like, you know, you can just totally schedule everything, it's good to do yoga before you meditate because it gets the body warmed up so that when you sit still for meditation, it's just, it's more comfortable. And it also helps to release any um, surface tension on the body, which then allows you to go into meditation that, that much, that much faster, that much easier. So, um, um, oh, you don't want to do yoga if you've just eaten a big meal. That's not comfortable, but you know, do that one time and, and you, you probably won't do it again. <laughs> You'll be like, whoa, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't really think there's a bad time to do yoga. You know, I really don't. Um, you know, where meditation, you might not want to do, you might not want to meditate just before you go to sleep because for, for most people, that then causes them to kind of have like this little resurgence of energy and, and you might not um, be able to keep whatever schedule you need to. But, um, so let me see if there's, um, see, I, I got some of this, I got some of the information from the Kripala Center. Um, I find that I have to nap after I meditate. Okay. If that's the case, then what meditation, what meditation is doing for you is it's helping you to get in touch with what your body actually needs. You probably needed that nap before you meditated. But you might have been so caught up in whatever your tasks were or what, you know, whatever was else was going on in your life that you, you weren't noticing. And then when you meditate and then you're like, oh, yeah, <laughs> I feel like, you know, so. Um, so I also got information from because I've, I've been hearing about this from Deepak, but I wanted to be a little more specific um, cause you know, I get all this information, especially from deep pockets, so detailed and, and, um, and then I just, I kind of remember a summary of the cliff notes that would come from that. And so it's not enough to, to share with other people. I don't think, um, well, now what is this other, I'm looking here. I, oh, here it is. Ah. All right. So the, it was called beyondmeds.com. The Aura Wellness Center. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. Um, also, we talked about this. 
And they talked about, you know, it's not just the, it's not just the poses, but it is also, you also can stimulate this, the, the vagus nerve through the, the breathing, the yogic breathing, and also through uh, mantra chanting or even just thinking the mantras because it stimulates the, the throat area, the throat chakra, where, um, where that nerve begins. Now, um, it's, oh, they say that the vagus nerve may also be responsible for the that feeling of the lump in your throat. Interesting. So, we've done yoga. There you go, Holly. Yeah, yeah. It really, it's it's really good. I know. Um, did were you here? Because I saw that you came back in. So I don't know. If you were here when I was talking about all the things that it's good about. I'm carrying a baby. Aya, are you pregnant? Are you having a baby? <laughs> but yes, you would you want to do maternity yoga. <laughs> um <laughs> How wonderful. I'll have to let Danica know. I'll have to let her know. Cool. Cool. Yes. You know, um, so, um, <laughs> well, so let me see here again. Let's see. I told you about that, um, about how it helps. Yes, because the low vagal tone, if this nerve doesn't get enough stimulation, um, you become more sensitive to stress and disease, and it's correlated with health conditions like depression, anxiety, chronic pain, and even epilepsy. And these same conditions show significant improvement when you bring in a yoga practice. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, so it does a lot. So I love it that, you know, that the breathing, um, because, you know, we, we do the alternate breathing. And, and, and another one of the breathings is, you know, like they call it ocean breath, you know, when you, if you can hear that. So you're pulling the breath in over the, the roof of your mouth. Um, but, you know, we do the alternate breathing here. Is everyone here familiar with the alternate breathing we've been doing on Tuesdays before we meditate? Yes, yes, yes. Well, I know you guys. <laughs> is, is there anyone who doesn't know? Because we are going to, um, I think now we'll go ahead and meditate unless someone has a, any, some questions. Any questions? All right, so let me get this. Okay, this is all ready to go. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to do the alternate breathing, and let's do let's do three rounds of alternate breathing, and then we'll follow that with the um, with the thinking silently. I am, and then you think your first and last name. And I'll guide you through this part. Remember, we do the first and last name three times, and then just the first name three times. Oh, I'm glad you like this. Um, and then you just think, I am, and then, aham. Uh -huh. um, and then we go to the mantra, which if you have your own personal mantra, you would use that. And if you do not, then you notice your breathing without trying to control it. And on the inhale, you think the word so. And on the exhale, you think the word hum. Now, is everyone good with doing just one minute of meditation? Or would you like to bump it up to like a minute, 30 seconds? Or um, any, any thoughts on that? It's still not a lot of time, but just to get a little bit more of that going inward. Bump. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so let me, actually I need to go here, and here, and here. Meditation time. Mm -hmm. 
Well, my little sign is still going to say a one-minute meditation. <laughs> but that's okay. Save. I don't even know if I need this sign because I think everyone on here knows exactly what we're doing, right? Okay, so uh, is it sitting comfortably and we'll begin with the breathing, okay? So we breathe in through both nostrils, breathe out, blocking one side, breathe in, and switch. And breathe in and switch breathe out breathe in and switch breathe out I've lost count <laughs> let's do one more round breathe in and switch Breathe out, we're doing alternate breathing. Breathe in. And switch for the last time. Breathe out. And breathe in. All right, now close your eyes. If you haven't already and think to yourself I am and then your first name and your last name so I would think I am Mahala McKellar so I am your first name and your last name now drop the last name and just think I am your first name three times now dropping your name all together think I am And now think aham, which is Sanskrit for I am. Aham. And now begin your meditation. Thinking your mantra gently. And if you notice you're thinking anything else, you don't block the thoughts. You just gently bring your attention back to the mantra. All right, now stop the mantra, sitting, resting with your eyes closed. You 
can deepen your breath if you want to. Move around a little bit. And when you feel ready, gently open your eyes. <laughs> Hearts are coming now. <sighs> nice, huh? So have any of you <laughs> have any of you it's supposed to be a Tibetan ball the sound but you know it's a, it's a nice little app that does this so have any of you um, started doing this on your own in your daily life do this twice a day oh good El Viejo do it twice a day you know even if it's just for what well, just this minute and a half that we just did yes it helped well yeah I mean imagine um, Holly imagine that um, you know and I'm no doctor or scientist I'm just imagining that if if um, <laughs> Marissa <laughs> let's do more than Tuesdays if we can anyway imagine um, if you're stimulating this nerve which is impacting the way you perceive the world around you for the better <laughs> um, yeah it, it would definitely it would definitely um, help with something like a panic attack I would I would certainly think so um, yeah, and an important thing to remember when you're meditating, it's, it's not a difficult thing to do. Pe people often try too hard. Um, oh, okay. When I look at the replay, I'll have to see what that, um, what the, it sounds like she's, uh, someone is doing a, a chanting in the evenings. Um, cool. I used to have a neighbor that that did a kirtan, which is people getting together and chanting. Um, he just lived two doors down. It was there every week. It was great. And then he moved. <laughs> it was so convenient. I would just go there. And sometimes I would just go and sit in for one, you know, for like 10 minutes and just kind of like soak it all up and then come back home and continue doing whatever I was doing before that. Um, it was great. <laughs> so any questions about me oh I know I was saying that it's people try to make meditation too hard and they usually do that because there's a misconception that when you meditate that you have to have a completely blank mind that you can't have thoughts and that just isn't the case you what, what, what we're doing and the mantra I mean mantra literally means instrument of the mind and what the mantra does is it interferes with the mind's tendency to think because that's its job the mind's job is to think thoughts right it's taking care of us you know um, and um, so when we're sitting and meditating the mantra helps us to transcend all of that how do you come up with a mantra? Well, I've given the, the breathing mantra. I like the meditation with the berry baskets. Oh, from my, um, from the meditation on the DVD. <laughs> oh, good. I th I'm pretty sure that's what you're talking about. It's been so long since I, I put that together. Um, I actually kind of, I remember I, I channeled that when I was like, I want to do a, a visualization oh great I'm so glad you like it I want to do visualization um, meditation and I I just I went because I also do some channeling and I went into in into that state of, of mind and 
that's just what came through. And um, I realized afterwards that what was it was it was actually a meditation for for releasing stress. Um, uh, which of course meditation does anyway, but it was like this other, anyway, I hadn't, you know, I just thought you go to a pretty place, you know, in your mind and you relax and you maybe have a conversation with a wise person, you know, there's all these different things that different kinds of visualizations out there. And, and, uh, and then I realized, oh, this is getting rid of the stress in the body and, and neutralizing it. It's not like when you, when you release stress, it's not like you're sending bad stuff out to other people. It it once it's once it's one with everything, it's it there's no good or bad. It's neutral. It's just pure love. It's just pure energy, pure love. So anyhow, um, and I did get off track from what I was saying. Oh, I know the the, the thoughts. So while you're meditating, and um, when you notice that you're not thinking that mantra that you're using when you notice that you're not thinking the mantra that you're using you don't try to block the thoughts you don't judge that you're thinking thoughts instead of the mantra you just very gently bring your attention back to the mantra um so we can have different things going on at the same time, you know. We we do all the time, um, you know. And and, and we're, we're when we're thinking the mantra, we're actually hearing it. We hear our thoughts. So steer back to course. Oh, you mean like bringing it back to bringing it back? Yeah, because you've gone and you come back. I guess you could think of it that way. Yeah, yeah. But that also kind of. As long as you don't judge, because a lot of people, they, you know, they'll they'll start to meditate and then they notice they're thinking thoughts and then they spend time judging themselves and beating themselves up about it. And there's it's it's, it's totally a natural part of of meditating. Um and um, yeah, so if you don't, and as far as the mantras go, um, uh, where do you get someone else? Where do you get a mantra? I've I've given you the um. Um, the Soham mantra, which is very calming, and it's it's it's. I think they actually call it the breathing mantra because you're it's, it goes with your breath, um, and it is your breath. Um, and then uh, in the course that I teach, primordial sound meditation, and that that's not primal, <laughs> but primordial, pre linguistic. Um, and the sounds that we give people. Um, it's it's based on when they were born, so um, because and so we use Vedic astrology to determine the sound that the universe was vibrating at when when a person was born, and then that is their that is their personal mantra that they use. And there are about a hundred different sounds, um, and. Um, so it's not like there's one for each person and that doesn't exist for anyone else. Um, there are about a hundred different sounds, actually 108. Well, actually, no, it's a hundred different sounds, but a couple of them repeat. So it ends up being 108 and it follows the cycle of the moon. Um, and, uh, which is pretty cool. So anyhow, <laughs> and I love it. That's actually my favorite part when I teach. Um, I love it all. I love everything, you know, the, the entire course that I teach, but my very, very, very favorite part is when I give someone their mantra. It's very, it's very personal. It's just me and that person. And, um, cause the rest of the course is, it's a, a group setting. So, uh, if I'm teaching more than one person, all of that's done as a group. And then, but when it's time for each person to get their mantra, it's just me and them. And there's a little ceremony. It takes like five minutes. Um, and I do a little chant in Sanskrit and then I give them the mantra and, and they're meditating for the first time. And it's just, it's such a sweet moment. It's just, I love it. I just love it. Anyway. Okay. Everybody, <laughs> you didn't ask me about that, did you? <laughs> So, um, I think I will leave you now for today 
and um, I'm glad you enjoyed the meditation. You know, when we when when we stop now, you can do it again. You know, do it again and get a little bit more. Um, do it tomorrow morning, the next day. Thank you. El Viejo, is that your name or is it Viejo is your name or what is your name? Or do you just like being called El Viejo? And thank you and you're welcome everyone. Thank you for, for joining me. I so enjoy it. And thanks for all the hearts. I have so many hearts. I just I just love that. Call sign. I'm not I don't know what that means. But you can you can, you know, tweet me and let me know. All right, everyone. So, I will see you. I hope I see you on Friday. It's going to be earlier um, um, my morning. It's going to be my morning because um, I'm going to be traveling again later that day. So um, I hope I see you then. Okay. Come on. Ah. All right. You're watching me trying to get rid of my calendar. There it goes. Now let's see if there we go. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to cook yet, but. I'm thinking maybe something else with camu in case you went out and bought the flour so you can do something besides just pancakes, right? Alrighty, <laughs> bye. <laughs>